Toto stand the man and does a ton the run. Welcome back, my friends from Iran. Yes, sir. We here again with Sirvan Khosravi. Why is that? Because I reacted on another track of this artist. I had a lot of recommendations for more songs of him. While in the first days the video basically didn't get any views later on seem to like it maybe it's because i'm usually going for rap music and this is pop music you wanted me to go for the live performance soya hat tikrari live in tabritz this is from 2020 i would say we jump right into this after the intro <laughs> all right let's check this out haven't watched it yet don't know what to expect oh by the way i didn't check this if we maybe have subtitles but uh yes it seems we have subtitles that's great actually Okay, they have a very atmospheric long intro here. Um, I suppose because I saw this performance is one and a half minutes longer than the... I think it's official music video that's for this song. I guess it's the intro and outro that makes it longer. So kind of I, I think that this is not in the original song, uh, this intro. Look how the crowd is already going wild by nothing or nothing happened so far, but they're already going wild. I wonder if they already know which song is coming up right here, because I said probably the intro is not in the original song. Okay. Wow. Ooh. This is awesome, man. Oh, boy. Okay, honestly, this keyboard player deserves an award of some sort. Bro. That was so intense how he built up the song basically on his own. Wow, man, insane. Okay, so the lyrics are about excuses. Your excuses getting old. I don't know if that is actually the title of the track. So your heart tikrari. Your excuses are getting old. Uh, okay. Oh, the whole crowd going with him. Okay, so love song about about divorce or or like mm, getting apart from each other and 
probably he wrote this song after uh, or or in the midst of getting uh, departed from from an, the the loving person right that's how the that's how the lyrics feel for me that he's like man don't tell you excuses anymore just leave don't tell me anything anymore okay Okay, I mean, uh, I kind of, I kind of can feel this song so much because, like, many of us know this story. There's another guy; she's leaving. We know this story, right? And maybe not everybody witnessed it, but everybody knows this story. And um, I think it's very strong that he says, "I won't miss you," because this is like. If she if she leaves you for another man, she doesn't deserve that you miss her, right? So um, I kind of get the point. Uh, what I really uh, I didn't talk about the music yet so much. So uh, the music itself is dance has a dance groove. It's almost like a techno groove. It's like an electric groove uh, beat. Uh, but it's played by a band, right? So we see the whole band on. So basically, the drummer playing like a machine. That's how it sounds. And um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, so he says you will be the one who, uh, who, I, man, not I have the problem with us being apart. You, you will be the one who will understand that you will be missing me. Uh, I like the positivity. I like the positivity he puts in here that he says, no, I won't be hurt. I won't feel pain because of that. It's your own fault. I think it always matters what she's doing. If she's cheating on you or going with another man, why would she deserve that you feel pain or that you feel bad or something like this, right? So uh, I like the I like the message a lot in this song. Um, yeah, the whole composition seems pretty electronic. I mean, we see there is a guitar. Wait, let's, uh, I can't see it. I think a guitar, at least one guitar in the bass. But it doesn't really sound like, the sounds are very electronic. It almost sounds like, um, it doesn't really sound like a band is playing on stage, right? What I mean? Man, okay. <laughs> Wow. Bro, like honestly, these instrumentalists playing so extraordinarily tight. That is what I mean when like it sounds like an album recording or like a I mean, of course, the mix of the concert is good. I get that point. But at the same time, everything sounds so perfect played. Like, wow, man. I know you can you can um, edit some, some crucial mistakes in a live performance. You can edit that for a video like this in afterwards. But 
you have to play a certain quality to get this in the end. So it's really, really good what they're playing right here. Very straight, very straight they playing. Oh. Bro, that is actually... <laughs> that's almost disrespectful. That's almost... He says, he says, I will forget you. Man. Look, it's not even about like woman and man. It can be the other way around as well, right? I can just maybe relate a little bit better because he's a man and he's singing about a woman. But you can turn this around. And it would work the same way, you know, and I, I think he's just like, like how he presents himself in this song. He's strong. He's not like the emotional guy who, uh, very, very fact based, I would say. <laughs> Look, the song, the lyrics are kind of almost a therapy for yourself. Like when you think about you're in a relationship that is over and this song would be, okay, this is the finishing point of my relationship. And every time I want to, I want to remind myself this relationship is over and not just in the, in, in facts, just emotionally for me, this whole thing is over. I just have to sing this song or listen to the song and be aware, yes, it's over, no problem. Very positive song, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, and musically really strong as well. I think I almost don't have to mention that Sirvan is singing so on point. Like it seems like he can't hit a wrong tone. Like he's he's not just a pop singer. He's a really talented singer in my opinion. That's what I take from these. I mean, I wasn't on a concert of him. I can tell how it really sounded when he was there. But it seems to me like he's really good. And his whole band on the same level. Right? Uh, no mistake. You can't hear a single mistake uh, musically in the whole performance. Everything sounds perfect from the musical side. Uh, right? Respect for that. Like, really. <laughs> Sorry, I have to stop because I saw. Look, they're holding, they're holding these papers up. They say Sirvan. That is somehow so cool. I ne I've never seen this in a concert. Oh boy, this is so cool. Okay. <laughs>
What should be mentioned is that not the quality, not just the quality of the band. I think the whole thing, the production behind this is very professional as well. Like you can see this on how many camera angles they have. Even like the light show is awesome. The cuts are very precise. Everything about this is very professional. And what I think, something that I noticed, I don't know where I saw it last. Like you see how smooth the camera moving. Look at this, what the camera is doing right here with the with the zoom and stuff. And you have in some of these scenes, you have like total, it's it's shaking. And in in on purpose, the whole picture is shaking on purpose to make it seem like there's more action going on. That's what I mean. What the the video is very high quality and the production is really high quality, right? Okay, okay. So we have about 20 seconds in the end extra. So that does actually mean at least a minute in the beginning of the intro was not in the original song. That is what I take from that. Awesome crowd, like really. You heard it throughout the whole performance how they were cheering. And singing along. What an awesome crowd, man. Man. Boy, I hope you enjoyed. We got a little bit longer reaction today. I just noticed that. Okay, the song was six and a half minutes. But still, maybe I talked a little bit too much. Sorry for that. If you want to check out some of my own music, you can do this right here. Don't forget to activate subtitles so you can understand the lyrics. Right above, you can find my first reaction on Silvan Khosravi that went on last week, I think. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to, and I'm out.